Hey everyone, it's Lori right here. This is part one of my 25 part video series to share how to use the mantra cards that I developed to help your children in your household and in your classroom. So the question is, how do we help children improve their social skills and their mental health? Well, the answer is easy, practice. You practice it with them just like any other skill, just like sports or schoolwork or piano or anything that you need to improve on. Just like adults, children need to practice. Practice, practice, practice. We all know that we want our children to be kind, to be thankful, you know, all those great social skills, but what we don't necessarily know is how to teach them how we want them to be. We expect them maybe to be coming out of the womb knowing how to use these skills and they really don't. So we're going to teach them. Um, what I'm going to start with today is one that's very important to me and to a lot of people and I celebrated a big birthday last week so I have a lot to be thankful for and the card that I have picked is backwards I know but is I am thankful. So it's a card from the self-awareness category, and the self-awareness category are the red ones. They all have a different color. There's five from this category. And self-awareness, um, if you remember, I've talked about the five social-emotional competencies. Self-awareness, pardon me, is having to do with labeling one's feelings, relating feelings and thoughts to behavior, accurate self-assessment of their strengths and challenges, self-efficacy and optimism. So this is I am thankful and this is what's on the back so that if you need some discussion points you have that to start with and what it says on the back is there's always something to be thankful for. Gratitude changes everything. Think of three things right now you can be thankful for. So there is always something to be thankful for and maybe you're in a really horrible situation but you can go outside and there's sunshine and there's snow or there's flowers etc. Maybe you're going through a really hard time and it's, and it's really hard to think of anything to be thankful for in that situation. Um, and somebody did just that and then wrote a book. So this is a, the book, The Gratitude Transformation Journal by the wonderful Jennifer Sparks. And if you're looking to start a gratitude pro, uh, practice yourself or if you want to learn more about being thankful yourself, this is a great place to start. I can put the link underneath. But she, she went through some rough times and learned that by um, practicing gratitude, her whole attitude and way of being changed. So that's a great book for adults to look farther into this. Okay, so getting back to the mantra card. For parents, for young children, start with very basic things and model, model it using your own language and your own life. So for example, you can just be having breakfast today and you can say, I'm so thankful for our family. They bring me such joy and happiness. I'm so thankful we have a house because it's snowing outside and I am protected and I'm safe and I'm warm. For um, You can also say I'm so thankful for my job. My job gives me somewhere to go everywhere and something to do and some money to support our lifestyle. <laughs> Money's good. For kids that are a little bit older and can understand, then you can start modeling by talking about situations. So for example, I had a disagreement today with my best friend and I felt terrible about it. But it was good because in the end, we ended up talking about X, Y, Z, whatever we were fighting about or whatever we were disagreeing about. You can talk about how maybe you have a disagreement with your boss or a coworker or your spouse or your sister and afterward you have the ability to go listen to music and clear your head or go for a walk and those are things to be thankful for. So with older children talk about those situations that happen to you and model that with your own life and they will understand that. So for teachers during circle time, you can have the students close their eyes and model how they would use this as a mantra. So they would take a very deep breath in and on the breath out, they say, I am thankful. And you would do that three or four times. I am thankful. They can say it, they can think it. It's a really great way to relax their whole selves and to really be in the moment. 
If that's all you have time for, teachers, at your circle time, then just do that. Just do three or four breaths with I am thankful. If you have more time, it could be a story starter. It could be a journal topic. Or if you have a special helper or something like that every day, your special helper could say what they are thankful for. You could record everything that everybody says, you know, throughout the span of having all 20 or 30 kids be your special helper. And you could even make it into a class book or record it on chart paper, paper or in a file on your smart board so you can revisit it later. Uh, you could have a thankfulness wall. Wouldn't that be cool? So on a bulletin board, call it thankfulness wall, and each child can go up when they want. And if you have a pre-cut pre out clouds or flowers or whatever seasonally appropriate, the children can write what they're thankful for and put it up on their thankfulness wall anytime. And imagine how big that thankfulness wall could be by the end of the year, plus your bulletin board is done for the whole year. So that is just a few ideas for if you are a parent or if you are a teacher to use the I am thankful card. Remember if you if you want to do it yourself to take a deep breath in and on the exhale to say how thankful you are and to think in your mind about things you are thankful for and do that about three or four times in a row. Do it especially when you feel like nothing is going your way. And I bet you, if you do it for a week or so, you're going to notice a change in your own emotional health. Try it. It'll work. So come back tomorrow night and we will explore the second part, the second in the video series that I haven't chosen it yet. I have to go through my cards now and decide what I want. So thanks for watching. Bye-bye.